So I was able to uh, take the cutlass bearing out first um, using my homemade tool. And it got us close. We took a little bit of paint off the rudder and it didn't quite clear it. So then we went back inside the boat and pulled the uh, stuffing box and shaft log off, um, which I wanted to replace the shaft log anyway. It was a little, had a little wear and tear on it. And then after I pulled that out, <coughs> uh, I wedged a piece of cardboard up against the rudder and, and gave the shaft a pull and uh, it came came out, took a little bit of paint off the rudder, but nothing too serious. So um, without dropping the rudder, that was the important thing. We sure didn't want to have to try that. And would have been difficult to get a lift in here because we're buried in a couple of boats in the yard. So, um, all in all, we're glad that uh, we got that sucker out. So the last step will be to, uh, you know, check about getting a new propeller shaft made, a one-inch stainless steel shaft. And uh, I think the stuffing box is probably okay, um, can be reused, and i um, not sure if we have to replace the cutlass bearing now that we took it out or not, I'll, I'll take a look at it. It's only been in there a year or so. But the important thing is uh, we got the shaft out, we can uh, get a replacement fitted for this and um, everything else seems to be really tight so that's, so that's good news. So um, it's still, Jan still January in Chicago but it's 60 degrees today and I um, feel good about the fact we got that shaft out. Now we can measure it and see about ordering a new one. So here's our propeller shaft out of the boat, sitting on my workbench. And uh, what I'm trying to show you is the wear over almost 30 years on the uh, shaft near the cutlass bearing. So I have a straight edge sitting on the shaft. And you can see the light at the top between the board in the shaft so that's all wear on the shaft and the, sh the rest of the shaft doesn't really look too bad um, i'm looking for the crack that i thought i saw you can see it right there that's what made me want to take the shaft out of the boat is when I saw that crack. I'll clean that up a little bit and look at it. But after we've got it out of the boat, it's it's definitely worn. You can you can probably see it most right here. There's very worn there and you can feel a bit of a shoulder on the shaft where the uh, stuffing box was was running on here. The high point here, a little bit of wear here it feels like, and then it's you know it's okay on either side, but um, it's definitely worn here. A high point here for some reason, and then a little bit of wear in here I can feel with my finger. <clears throat> but that crack is what made us first decide to pull the shaft out. You can see it right there where it starts. And it ends there. So it's probably uh, halfway around the shaft. Can't tell how deep it is, but um, there's definitely something there. So I just hit the prop with a little bit of emery cloth. Um, and you can see that crack, very distinct. In fact, there's more than one, it looks like. Some of these don't seem too bad, but um, you know, there's more than one crack in there. And it's kind of interesting to see where the 
the different ridges are um, from wear lines. I didn't I didn't quite buff this down much here, but you can really distinctly see that shoulder on that shaft. So I don't know what causes you know, that kind of that kind of crack. Boat's never been in salt water, as far as I know. <clears throat> um, but it is almost 30 years old. You can see where the cutlass bearing rides on the shaft. That doesn't feel bad. I didn't buff this out a little in it at all, but you know, it's polished a little bit, but it's um, not bad, I don't think. Cutlass bearing itself seems to be okay. Um, I replaced it, I don't know, the year I bought the boat, so maybe three, four years. Seems to be in good shape. I think I can reuse that probably. <clears throat> the other thing I wanted to do is replace the uh, the hose. You can see it's bulged a little bit there. I don't I don't really know how old it is. I'll see if there's any kind of a date on it. But I think it was time to replace it anyway. If we're pulling the shaft out, now's the time. Um, it's pretty pliable. I think the stuffing box will be okay once we clean it up a little bit. <clears throat> all the packing fell out. Yeah, all the packing came out when I pulled it out. But uh, anyway, so that's part of the project. Next step, see about ordering a new stainless steel shaft. This one is uh, 51 and a half inches long, I believe, out of an O'Day 322.